Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? It's a lovely morning and we are up a little bit earlier than we normally get up because we have a bit of an emergency. If you have a look in the on the animal HUD right there, you can see that we have run out of grass. The cows are down to a measly 10% production. So with that in mind, I'm going to start walking out this way. Uh, well, I'm going to, yeah, let's walk out this way a second, but I, I just want to check something as we walk out. So, yes, um, the question for today was, do you want me to get greenhouses? I will put greenhouses over in the sugar beet field when we have harvested the sugar beet. Uh, do you want me to get them? And you all said yes, so I will be getting sugar beet, uh, sugar beet, I will be getting greenhouses. Right, we can't actually get through here, so I am actually going to have to go through that gateway there. You'll see over here that I have the tractor set up. Um, right, the question for today, I will be harvesting sugar beet at some point soon. We have all that sugar beet in the field just down there. If I just bring up the map, there we go. It's in field six, directly opposite us. There's mountains of it. So the question is, I will probably just hire machinery for the sugar beet harvest rather than actually buy it. So do you want me to hire uh, the Holmer machine to harvest it? Do you want me to hire the original Grim Maxtron to harvest it? Or do you want me to hire the small machines, the tractor-mounted ones, the topper, followed by the actual harvester itself? Um, which one do you... I'll, so I'll just hire them, but which one do you want me to hire? The tractor-mounted stuff, the original game one, or the new Holmer one, the larger one? I will collect one of them for the sugar beet harvest. So which one would you like me to harvest? Head down below, let me know in the comments section, and remember, it's your vote, it's your game. So, I am going to carry on today, and we're going to use this one. Now, last time I did a bit of mowing. What I did was I went round the field with a mower, and uh, then I went round the field with a rake and rode it all up, and then finally I went round the field with the uh, forage wagon and collected it. Um, this mower has a swathing option. So enable wide spreading. Uh, no, we want it as it is. So we want it left unfolded and just lower it down and turn it on. And this will swath it up. If you have a look, I'll just move forward slightly. Yeah, see? It leaves it in a swath in the middle. So if I put that one on the front and I put the... There we go. Put that one on the front and I put this one on the back. I'm going to stay out of cab for a second so that we can see this. There we go. That'll pick it up nicely. One pass operation. Now, that's what we're talking about. Now, obviously, if you've got a front-mounted one like this and you're doing it on the corners, um, it won't actually pick up. So what I will do is I will stop at the end and I will lift... Oop, I want that one there. Lift the mower like that. There we go. And then I can turn on the headland... I'll actually just do another slice straight up through like this and then we'll just sort of do it a bit bit by bit. So let's just go into cab now and we'll have a look at this. We want to cut a straight line up through here. There we go. And I'll just get rid of that. So straight line up through here. And that should be filling the... And the trailer's filling up at a reasonable rate. This mower on the front isn't too bad a size. It's a bit bigger than the original game one, so we're not doing too bad with this. And once we've got a trailer full, we'll put that in for the cows. But then I've got uh, several other things that I'd like to do today. I've got all sorts I want to do today, actually. Um, not completely, well, you know, including, but not limited to, I should say. Um, I got an idea that I'd like to get the Lamborghini, is it the Lamborghini? I think it's the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini tractor. I asked you some time ago which tractor you wanted me to get. And everybody said that you wanted me to get the Lamborghini tractor. And I think that's an excellent idea. I would like to get the Lamborghini tractor. It costs £200,000. Now, I could borrow some money. Um, I'm not going to do that. As Well, I will be borrowing some money, but I don't want to borrow very much money if I can help it. And let's just lift. Come up through. And then turn. And if I go out the other side, I should just be able to start... Hang on, we'll, we'll just pop out of cab to see this now. Um, I can start just sort of going round in a circle over this one, I think. Drop down there. There we go. Um, the Lamborghini tractor is going to be a fair bit faster than this one. It's stronger than this one. Um, this has been a good tractor so far, but I think it is going to work out better if we could have 
a slightly more powerful and faster tractor. Because remember, I'd like to start doing some more silage soon. I'd like to silage a couple of fields and clamp it up at the BGA so that we can tip some silage into the BGA plant. And if I'm to do that and do it at any reasonable rate, I'm going to need a better tractor than this one so that I can cover the distance on the roads a bit quicker. So I think that that Lamborghini tractor is... It's time that we got it. I think it's time that we splashed out. So to that end, I'm going to... Well, once we've fed the cows, I'm thinking that I will take the grain that we've got and we will sell it. We will take that down to the village as quickly as we can and we will sell it. In order to load it up, I'm not going to be um, doing it with a bucket. We are going to go and buy the... Um, conveyor mod for the telescopic handler. We will take the telescopic handler up to the shop, get the conveyor mod and then we will come back with that one and we'll be able to use it to load up the trailers and then we will also be able to use that conveyor mod to load some because the silage is now ready in back at the yard, the silage that we made. We made that little clamp of maize silage didn't we? That's now ready so I'd like to get that maize silage and take one trailer load of it up to the BGA and tip that into the machine up there and I think you can tip it straight onto the conveyor so we'll take the trailer and the conveyor up there and I think you can tip it straight onto the conveyor and then it will load you up like that so that is the other thing that we're going to be doing so I'm going to carry on and fill this trailer up just up and down this field a minute and then when I have done that we will go and tip it in for the cows and we can get on with the next bit that we need to do today. We've got all sorts to do. There is just one thing I want to show you while I'm over here. And let me just open the door. There we go. Oop, no, I don't want to drop that one down. I want to press that one and then climb out of the tractor. Right, if we just uh, climb through the hedge right here, uh, you'll remember, yeah, we're just going to have to push through right there. There we go. You remember I did say that I was going to go on in my very last episode and cut this field. And I did cut this field. I just thought I'd better just show you that. And incidentally, this is the amount of barley that we now have. We have 138,000 litres. Plus we got nearly 50,000 litres of canola. We don't have very much wheat. I'm not going to sell all of the barley. I'm going to sell the canola first. And that will be at £1,000 a tonne. And that will hopefully push the price of the uh, barley up a little bit. So then I can sell a few trailer loads of that in the following hour. Uh, that is at least the plan, and I'm hoping that that will get us a, a you know, fair slice of money. So this combine, it did a wonderful job. We combined the entire field here, and we have got all of this to bale now, but it's come over quite dark and overcast, and yeah, so we're going to need to just let the straw dry out a little bit, and that combine is going to be going off higher fairly soon, so I won't be able to use it... Um, for a little while I don't think so let me just shut the door I will carry on here I'm over halfway full now and it's not the fastest way of doing things here but it is it is doing it at a reasonable rate so I can't really complain too much um, and I suspect this, this is a lot faster than going around the field three times in order to get a trailer full which is what we did last time so this will be when we're you know desperate for a bit of grass this is going to sort of be the way that we will do it and we can just do patches in this field or um in one of the other nearby fields because we don't have to do loads and loads of it do we and then once we're able to advance a little bit further and make some hay in that we're not going to need to worry about getting grass in here anyway because we'll be able to give them complete mixed ration and there we have one full trailer a little bit of the grass left behind, but uh, that'll probably be okay. Now, how did that mower fold up? It was just that bit on the front for folding up, wasn't it? I'm not too worried about that. I'll leave that down, actually. And coming through here, you might notice that it's actually a little bit bumpier now than it used to be, especially on this ploughed field. We are going to seed this one out fairly soon. I might actually get that going later. If we've got time today, uh, we will get that one going. Um... I've changed, I did have a mod which was a real, real ground or something, I can't remember what it was, but um, I had a mod that sort of worked fairly well for making the ground slightly rougher and I've changed it to a slightly different one which is real, 
I can't remember. I, I will include it in the description down below, like I always do. I'll, I'll add in the link. Uh, but it's... Oops. Smashed my mower into the post there. That is not the way to treat a mower. And I'm just going to drop this one off here so that we've got a shorter tractor. Um, I will include it in the description, but it does make the ground slightly rougher. Um, oh, I'll do that and unhitch it. That's what I wanted to do. Right, I'll have to just come out of the cab for this bit. Now... I want to back up and turn round and I should just be able to drive through here and drop it straight into the trough at least that's what I'm hoping and then we're going to feed some silage in a bit as well right that can feed in there that will go into the trough inside today rather than the one outside drop that in there there we go right that's going to fill that trough up quite nicely there we go that's perfect so um, I got that mod and the other thing with the mod is it actually does crop destruction if you drive on the crops so when we're harvesting and so on we're going to have to be extra careful now because we've now got this crop destruction which I think is actually really good and what I don't know yet is what stage it um, destroys the crops at whether it's uh, early stage or if it's um, a little bit later on right now I've got to try and squeeze out of here somehow and I'm not sure if I can, because I don't think I can get around that corner. Oh, yes, I can. Look at that. Perfect. Right. So, next task of the day. Uh, what is the next task of the day? I, I need money. I want to get that... I want to get that... Um, tractor. I need the conveyor mod so that I can do things with that one. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and get the conveyor mod first. I will drive up to... The shop, get the conveyor with the... So if I just switch this one off here. And let's open the door so that we can get out. And switch it off. Right. We're going to head up to the shop with the... Wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button. There, that's the button I want. Um, I'm going to head up to the shop with the load all. And we're going to get the conveyor. And we're going to bring it back. And we're going to uh, head down and start loading up some grain. That's going to be the next thing that we do. I'm looking at these two different uh, conveyors, and this one takes the straw. This has uh, been modified by Happy Looser, and he modified it to take wood chips and I think that straw bales, although I'm not entirely certain. Uh, it might just be loose straw. I, I, I don't know about those two, but I know that he did modify it to take wood chips because this one, the original one by Mahu, doesn't take wood chips. Now, I have looked all over this map. Apparently we have some wood chips in storage, but I can't find them anywhere. Uh, so I'm just going to go with this one for now, and I'm actually going to buy it rather than rent it, because I think we're going to be using this one a lot. So if I buy, uh, buy that one, there we go. Come out of there. But if anyone does know if there is actually wood chip storage on this map, um, please let me know, because I would love to know where they are. Uh, I have got no clue. Now, this is the difficult bit, is putting this one on. It always does that. Kind of flies all over the place. Now, um, let's just pop out of cab a minute. There is the conveyor. Now, this one is absolutely brilliant. Um, it was originally made for a tractor rather than a um, telehandler. But I think it does work very well with the telehandler. It's just a shame that the, the join... Let's just pop out. I always like to inspect the mods. It's a shame that the join is there instead of lower down i think it would have been more realistic if it had been slightly lower down onto the actual frame that the tractor would join onto um but other than that this mod is spectacular i love this mod it is absolutely brilliant so we will rush this one back down to the cheap i will get the john deere and load on the i will hitch on the flegel and Take that one down there as well, and then we can see this one in action, loading up that trailer with the first of the canola. I'm just going to wash this tractor off quickly because it is absolutely filthy. And then I'll be able to see out the windows while I'm driving down. Right, we have a tractor with a trailer here, and we have the loader with the conveyor on it so let's just pop in here and i'm going to put that one up we're going to sort of push it into the heap you do have to adjust it slightly as the heap gets smaller um you, you do have to adjust it slightly and the only slight problem 
with this is getting it under that door. So we'll just get that exactly the right place there. That's about right. And now we've got to hope that it's going to stay stable. Right. Now, if you look at the, uh, the conveyor as we drive forward, so it touches the heat. There we go. It fills up completely. So that's now sort of engaged. And I'm forward as far as I can get. I'm touching that heap. So now I've got to get this tractor and I will drive underneath the conveyor and hopefully the edge of the trailer will just reach under that conveyor so long as the loader isn't too far forward. And perfect there. You can actually see the animation on it as well. It will... There, look at that. That is beautiful. That is perfect. It is loading up nicely. So that is how we conveyor it all out. And we load the trailer right up. And then once the trailer is full, I can rush it down to the pub. And I won't actually... Add. Now, see, it's the pile is getting smaller. So this is where it starts to get a bit more difficult. You've actually got to start adjusting things. Um, want it, to start with, the pile sort of stays the same size. And you don't have this issue. But now we are going to have the slight problem of the pile shrinking. And obviously, as I get a little bit further forward, I'm going to try and go forward as far as I can. I go back a little bit. The only issue is that um, to get close enough to the trailer... Right, I'm going to have to pull that conveyor right in. Like that. So that I can drive this one a bit further forward. And then I'm going to have to turn the tractor around so that I can back underneath. So I'll just uh, get this one sp uh, turned around a minute. Okay, there we go. That's working quite nicely again. And the conveyor is just emptied, so I'm going to have to come out of the tractor and hop into this one. We'll just move forward a little bit further. So hopefully we can sort of get most of this done. Now the problem is that it's catching on the roof. And in order for me to change that, I'm going to have to come... I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to... I might be able to just adjust it slightly. This is where it gets really tricky. Trying to sort of balance between the two. And you've got to... It's, it is awkward because of the way that this um, shed is spaced. So if I drop that down, lower the whole thing slightly and... Oh, I don't want to do it that way. There. Right, well now the trailer is full, so I want to take the trailer down and then we can come back and we can worry about that one. I'll just switch this one off. There we go. Right, and we can come back and we can concern ourselves with how the conveyor is behaving on the next trip. So I'm going to take this down to the village. Probably by the time I get to the village it'll be 8 o'clock, so I will be able to sell the whole lot. And I'm wanting to try and get down there and back again before 9 o'clock so that we stay at the maximum price possible and then I want to start getting barley down there as quickly as possible after that and selling it because obviously the first hour after selling the canola is when I will get the best price for the barley. So we've got to try and squeeze as much of it in as we possibly can. Came in the back way for the Guinness is good for you. Okay. Uh, can't say that I particularly like the stuff so I'm going to Agree to disagree with that one. Sell all of our eggs. There's £860 for all of the eggs. I've still got 13 left to collect. So we'll go and get those in a minute. And we have people walking through the tractor, which is quite an accomplishment, actually. I'm going to come out of cab a second. And we're going to get caught up on the wall. Of course we are. Okay, let's try that again. And this time I'm going to not get caught up on the wall. And I'm going to sell all of this grain. Swing in a bit wider, there we go. It's a little bit awkward sometimes with the trailer. But I'll sell this and then I'll get back to the yard so that we can get the next lot of canola and hopefully we get that back here before 9 o'clock. Come in here, there we go. Right, and tip. That should give us about £32,000. £32,000 in the trailer. And I am going to be running out of time very soon. Um, so what I will do is... We will go back and load up the last of the canola because that is going to be quite difficult to get that last little bit just so that you can sort of see how it works. And then between this episode and the next episode, I will sell all of the barley so that we've got a pile of money to spend in our next episode. I'm just driving into the sugar beet field, just into the entrance, because I want to test something. I have this mod now that 
does crop destruction and it works on cereals right well it doesn't with this tractor does it do it with the trailer no right i was just the reason i wanted to test that was because today's question obviously is which uh sugar beet harvester or you know did you want me to have the self-propelled one one of the self-propelled ones or the tractor ones you know which one did you want me to get there's three options there which and which one did you want me to get and i thought i better just check because the tractor mounted ones do entail quite a bit of driving on the crops um and so i thought i better well hang on what if i'm going to be destroying the crops if i'm driving on them but fortunately it won't destroy the crops to drive on them um, or not the sugar beet, it appears that it doesn't include the sugar beet in that so that you can actually harvest them properly. So that is a relief, we don't need to worry about that. So let's get this canola loaded up and then over to that yard before we run out of time because it is already half past eight. Now backed right into the shed and I will push forward as much as I can with this one. Now I'm going up against the roof of the shed, which does make it a little bit more difficult. And we've got to sort of... <laughs> okay, this is the bit that I don't like, is the unrealistic way that it gets sort of uh, pushed around. Um, this is the slight issue with having your produce in a shed like this. But now if I'm over here like this, I ought to be able to shunt around a little bit and get it lined up so that I can have it just inside the shed. Let me do that a second. Actually riding up on the heap. There. Let's just try that. And if I bring that one up and sit it on top of the heap, that should do it, I'm hoping. Let's just rush over to the tractor and back it in that last little bit. There we go. Right, I'm hoping that'll get the rest of it. That is pretty much it, I think. I don't think there is much more to collect out of this shed. Oh, there is a tiny bit more. Tiny bit. That's it. Okay, that is the conveyor all done. And that is me out of time. I'm going to have to start dashing back over to the uh, shop. I will very quickly go in here. So we have just double-checked that everything is going to be okay. So you can choose either the tractor-mounted gear the original Grim, uh, the original self-propelled harvester or the new Holmer self-propelled harvester. Which one do you want me to hire for um, harvesting the sugar beet? I will hire the one that you want me to for harvesting that sugar beet and when it comes time to do it, that's obviously uh, the one that we will use. Um, I don't know when it will be. I can't make any promises. Obviously, you've figured out by now that some of these things that you guys tell me you want me to do don't get done for quite a while. But I do remember which ones you want. And so that is the ones that I do. Okay? So, um, yeah. Which one do you want? Do you want the... I, I'm going to try and influence the vote here a little bit. I've never actually used the tractor-mounted ones, but the size of the field is making me not want to use them. Okay? So... Personally, I would prefer it if you didn't make me use the tractor-mounted ones, but one of the self-propelled ones. But obviously, it is your vote, it is your game, so you make the choice. But, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends all about me. Next time, I will have sold all of the barley as well. Well, most of it, I'll keep a little bit back for feeding the pigs and the sheep, uh, the pigs and the beef. Uh, we will be going up to, uh, we, we've got some beef and we've got some pigs that we want to sell so there'll be some more money. I'm also going to be taking some silage from our clamp here up to the biogas plant to sell that. And hopefully next episode we will be buying our brand new Lamborghini tractor. But until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.